Welcome back to All About the Geek and happy Canada Day. What I have for you is our first tasty recipe, which is coming in the form of a cocktail, something that I am calling the Canadian Quarantini. This is a riff off of the Toronto, which itself is a take on the Manhattan, which is a spin off of the classic martini. In it, we have rye, which I am using a Woodenville Whiskey Co. handcrafted small batch rye, because I like small batch ryes. If you want to be really Canadian, you could use some Crown Royal. Uh, we've got Fernet Branca, which is a uh, spirit. Uh, don't know much about it, other than that it is traditional in there and it seems to make this taste good. And then some bitters. The big thing that changes this from most of the others where they would use simple syrup to sweeten it, I am using maple syrup, because what's more Canadian than that? All right, so I've got a pretty basic recipe and setup here. So I've got a Boston shaker with some ice in it. And what we will do is we start with two parts of our rye, which I have a jigger here for. It's just a one ounce jigger. So we're gonna put two measures of rye in there. Set that aside. We'll put one measure of our Finet Branca. Let's just lid these up because I am apt to spill them. And finally, a half measure which I'll just eyeball here in the one ounce side because I don't feel like getting it messy, of the maple syrup. So that just adds a little bit of sweetness to this. And finally, we're gonna give this thing a good old shake for about 30 seconds to a minute. All right, this is suitably chilled. There we go. Crack that open, get our strainer, pour it into a whiskey glass with one ice cube. The long shake means that it's nice and cold, refreshing, and more importantly, got that just a little bit of water so you're not drinking just pure alcohol. Forgot to add the bitters, but you can always add that at the end right now. Give it a little swizzle with the finger. Not terribly clean in quarantine, but tasty. And now the best way to deal with this, most people would say, well, what are you gonna garnish it with? I don't garnish my cocktails when I'm sitting at home, but I do like to enjoy them with a tasty treat and what's more Canadian than enjoying it with an Nanaimo bar. So that's it, I hope you enjoy. Have a very happy Canada Day, and I will see you all in the next one.